what is the most significant event to contribute the wound healing immediately following the injury so in case of wound healing in case of wound healing which of the following event starts most immediately that after the injury or after the uh, a wound formation or there is a cut injury maybe cut injury or operational injury or any type of the injury which of the following events occur most immediately here the options options are neutrophil activation platelet de uh, degranulation endothelial cell proliferation migration of the tissue macrophage proliferation of the wound bed fibroblast so let's see this phase so first of all this is the phase of the wound healing first of all the first phase is inflammatory phase then destructive and proliferative phase and maceration phase some authors also converse this and it calls as a proliferative phase so inflammatory phase proliferative phase and maceration phase so three important phases of the wound healing so let's see first of all when there is a injury then platelet release growth factor and cytokine so first of all most firstly which is really uh, which occurs first of all platelet release its growth factor that means platelet de uh, degranulation occurs and platelet release its different type of chemical substances from its inside and also from the platelet cell membrane then after that macrophage and neutrophil attracted into the wound because the different type of the chemo chemotactic agent they are released from the platelet they are released from the injured endothelial cell so the in neutrophil and mac, uh, macrophage they engulf bacteria and release growth factor cytokines and other substances and after that fibroblast epithelial cell endothelial cell they are attracted to the wound so most important most fast event occurs platelet degranulation here you can see this is the platelet degranulation then neutrophil comes then macrophage comes and then fibroblast epithelial cell and other cell comes here and finally here we can see the fibroblast endothelial cell they are produce growth factor and finally extracellular matrix formation new capillary formation and mature escar develop so what is the most fast event most fast event is the platelet degranulation and platelet we know there are different type of granules such as the alpha granule and other granule so these granule are responsible for different type of activity then neutrophil and macrophage come then fibroblast come and they release different type of the collagen material and finally extracellular matrix formation and blood cell formation so in this picture it is uh, clear i think uh, the this is the figure a and this figure a is the inflammatory this is the inflammation and in inflammation here you can see this is a wound and here this is the platelet is the plays a major role in this area but in the second phase here you can see the proliferation phase in proliferation phase there is the macrophage monocyte granulation tissue and new blood vessel formation and finally remodeling phase in remodeling phase there formation of the extracellular matrix collagen and other tissue and finally the mature escar many of these event contribute to healing platelet degradation degra degranulation is the earliest phase and result of hemostasis so most fast event is the platelet degranulation then main events in uh, then allowing the release of the cytokines to attract other cells such as the neutrophil mac macrophage so our answer what is the most immediate after a wound healing procedure which come first this is the platelet neutrophil come then endothelial cell proliferation occurs later migration of tissue macrophage it occurs about 48 hours and proliferation of the wound bed fibroblast they are the most last event